Hello, Moon Jelly Kevin here, and today we're going to do something that has never been done before on the internet. I, your host, Moon Jelly Kevin, is about to get into a bare knuckle drag out fight with uh, this box. So, if you guys can see, I uh, weigh in about 156 pounds. I'm five feet six inches. This box is about the size of uh, my torso, and uh, let's just say he weighs in about. I want to say a little bit more than a baby tortoise, but definitely less than a baby seal. So let's do this. Let's tangle. Ah! All right. So if you actually clicked on this video, you already know that that's not exactly what we're going to do. We are going to unbox this guy. This is the Scott Pilgrim versus the World uh, Limited Edition from Limited Run. Uh, at least I hope it is. We're going to go find out. That's what my tracking said. If it's not, well... We're all in for a surprise. Who doesn't like surprises? Now, I have talked about Scott Pilgrim before in this uh, video. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that... Oh, my God. Okay, take a few seconds before I continue with my story. Boom. Wow. That is a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's like a suitcase. So let me get this right. It's called the Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, Complete Edition. Wow, they're trying to compete with Street Fighter here with how many things they could cram into a title. But yeah, like I was saying, Scott Pilgrim is one of those things that I was kind of a dirty hipster about. I found out about it when they had their free Scott Pilgrim, the uh, comic book day, the free comic book day comic. <clears throat> And I think he fights Winifred Haley, if I'm getting that name right. And uh, yeah, I was a fan ever since that when this movie came out, when the uh, graphic novel was uh, wrapping up, you know, I was in the know. And uh, it was nice because it was a time where, you know, a lot of my friends who would not normally try out indie comics were trying out indie comics. And um, I feel this is kind of something that's a little bit lost to history now. We're at a point now where, because uh, things are so politicized, uh, they say they see things like Ramona Flowers with her colored hair, and they think uh, something like Scott Pilgrim is something else, you know, because of the state of modern comic books. But um, it's really, honestly, just a very fun read. It's more akin to something like um, Old Shonen, like Ranma One Half, or uh, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, with a little bit, a little bit of like, you know, slice of life thrown in there as well. But um, yeah, it's a little bit, I, I highly recommend it. It's a lot more of a fun book than I think people think it is before going into it. So anyways, here's the game. Um, I know everyone and their mothers probably played the support. We never thought we were going to get this. Um, but as soon as they announced that they were re-releasing this game digitally, it was only a matter of time before they release it physically. So yeah, again, nice suitcase. Um, remove the battery. Insulating pull tab, okay. Right, so that's what it looks like in the front. Sides, back, side again, bottom. You guys can see over here. Yeah, the, the logos of Ubisoft. Universal and Limited Run 2021. This is real. I'm really holding this. This is a real thing we're holding. Pretty crazy. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And I guess we'll pull this plastic out. All right, it's out. Opening up the suitcase. Maybe I should do it like so. Let's take a look. How long am I going to let this play? <laughs> See if we get a bit of light. That is awesome. You know, usually when you have these things, they only play a few seconds. And uh, that was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But, man, very cool. Very cool. I'm very happy to get this. 
Okay, so let's see. Pulling this tab up. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know. All right. Little instructions on what you can do for this collector's edition. Very cool. Pulling this up. And there we go. We got all the cool stuff that comes with the Scott Pilgrim game. Got the uh, drumsticks. All right, you have a little bit of uh, graphics on here. It's kind of interesting. I think it's, a, oh, never mind. All right, I was about to say. Okay, so you can look at this first one, and it has uh, Scott little animations there right across. And then you, I was like, hey, why would they do that? Because Scott plays bass, he doesn't play um, the drums, and lo and behold, the second stick has Kim Pine on it. That's awesome. All right. Um, other things that come over here, we have behind the pixels, this book. Let's take a look in the book. Reading Rainbow. Okay. Now, um, you know, like I said, a huge Scott Pilgrim fan. I was a fan of the um, comic first. Like I said earlier, I found out about it through Free Comic Book Day. So when people wonder if Free Comic Book Day works out, it definitely worked on me. But this was cool because it was finally at last. My friends can enjoy it in a way that they can enjoy it. So we got over here... Beautiful. I, I know it's really hard to like tell, but you got some glossy pages. And we've got a lot of interview stuff here, which I can't wait to read. Concept art gallery. This is like from the opening. And you know what's funny is I don't really have the best memories playing this particular game. <laughs> Um, this game came out when the movie came out, and uh, we had a friend, and this person was really into uh, Scott Pilgrim, but also had the personality that was uh, kind of bossy, <laughs> if you're listening, if you're watching this. You know I love you, all right, but let's be real, all right, and uh, we would play this game, and, uh, you know, this person would definitely... Uh, kind of party poop <laughs> a little playing this game. And I played this game actually with multiple people, so, but that's the one that sticks out with me. We, we had this college friend, we all hung out in an apartment, played this game, and uh, you know, just mindlessly leveling up. Very cool, you have that Akira reference, Akira reference, but yeah. And I, I had this at home, I had this on my PS3, I still have it on my PS3. And I played this with my um, my brother and my friends. Um, this came out around 2010. We were all still living together at that point. So, yeah, that's the book. Sorry, maybe I should have got a little closer. But very cool behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, if you haven't, check it out. Okay, uh, let's see what else is here. You got some stickers. What's on here? You got the evil exes, even the demon hipster chick here. Um, digital code. See the enhanced digital guide, sorry. That's right. Strategy guides are no longer a thing. You just get them online. Uh, but it's a, uh, but it's a beat em up. You just, you know, well, whatever. <laughs> what strategy do you need? Don't get hit and hit the guys. Uh, you got some pins over here. Scott Pilgrim pin. Um, this is a something, like a card. Is there anything else in these? Well, this one's definitely just the pin. Uh, this one is... Oh, okay, they're cards, okay. So, got over here, Gideon. The Katayanagi twins. You have um, Roxy. Todd Ingram. Lucas Lee, and Matthew Patel. Oh, there you go. All the characters. Uh, you got the soundtrack on cassette. Very cool. I actually do have a cassette player. Even my own stuff is uh, put out on cassette. So uh, this would be cool to pop in and listen to. 
some sex bomb guitar pins picks sorry um, definitely more on the hard side probably good to use to play bass you know there's a lot of snobs that if you play bass with a pick they get so uh, you know butthurt about it but I mean you know as long as you keep the rhythm and the groove I don't care how you get those sounds I mean there's definitely advantages to both but don't be a snob <laughs> don't be a snob how people play bass all right, anyways, uh, here we go. Uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World, the game, the complete edition. Got Ramona over here. Got the back art over here. Sides, sides, bombs, tops. And let's actually open this up. So it's kind of cool. It seems to be in like a, uh, a clamshell type of case. So it's very reminiscent of something like a Genesis game or like an MVS game. Yeah, there we go. Pull this off. Boom. Clamshell. And, you know, like I said, Scott Pilgrim was a lot of things. <laughs> I particularly enjoyed all wrapped up in one. It was retro games. It was uh, rock music. It's an independent comic, you know, and then when they just made that movie with Edgar Wright, who's just a fantastic filmmaker, one of my favorites, uh, it's just, you know, for me, it's Fish in a Barrel. I understand it's not for everyone, but for me, it was definitely something very cool. So let's see, Super Pox, more stuff in here. You get the soundtrack on the CD. This is kind of weird. It's like things are in a prison, but, oh, can you pull out these tabs? Got the soundtrack on CD from Anna Monaguchi. Never got to see them live, but all my friends are uh, big fans. Definitely want to see them someday. Stickers, you got the heroes this time. And a completely 100% accurate map. You guys have seen that. Of Toronto, Canada. All right, so yeah, uh, that was it. Hopefully you guys like what you saw. I know usually people have their things all nicely displayed, so let's see if we can do that. I don't think I can, there's just too much. There is too much stuff <laughs> in this edition, but if you like this, uh, you know, it was from Limited Run, it was uh, pre-ordered, and um, you know, cool thing about these later Limited Run ones is that you can actually, uh, still find them when they come out for not too crazy so if you enjoyed what you saw in this package maybe it's something you want to get for yourself but anyways uh that was scott pilgrim versus the world and um hopefully you enjoyed this all right thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day